Following the Nigerian Spring Cut judgment on Thursday that ruled in favor of local government financial autonomy, the African Network for Anti-Corruption, ANA, urged the Nigerian government to consider constitutional amendment by shifting the conduct of local government election to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The organization made the call on Thursday, July 12 in Kanu, at a press briefing. Speaking at the event, Muhammad Musbahu Baskira cautioned the Nigerian governors not to undermine the cut decision by imposing candidate or sabotaging the local government administration. Furthermore, we caution against the possibility of the state governors appointing loyalists as a local government council chairpersons, which could undermine the spirit of this judgment. We will be watching closely to ensure that this autonomy is not compromised. We call for a constitutional amendment to shift the, local, the conduct of the local government elections under the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to ensure credibility, fairness, and transparency in electoral process in Nigeria. However, he further urged the state governors that are yet to conduct the local government election to swiftly conduct the election and ensure a credible process for citizens' well-being. In addition, we know that 20 states, including Jigawa, Rivas, Anamvara, Zampara, Sokoto, Kano, Imo, Bauchi, Flato, Inugu, Yobe, Kasina, Kwara, Abia, Cross River, Binue, Ondo, Oshun, Delta, and Aqua Ibon State, respectively, have not conducted local government elections and stand banned from receiving local government allocation from July until they do so. We urge these states to conduct election promptly and ensure that the autonomy granted by the Supreme Court is not undermined. He also expressed confidence in the local government autonomy as such will help in building a mechanism that will create more jobs, access to quality health care and education, and an enabling environment in Nigeria. With this autonomy, the local government council stand the chance, among others, provide better health care, education, and infrastructure for their communities, create jobs, stimulate local economics, respond more effectively to local uh, needs and priorities, reduce poverty and inequality. Abubakar Ismail Kankara, reporting from Kanu.